Hi guys, it's Mrs. Suters. I am back and I'm going to read you the second book in the series of Ted and his adventures. And I know you guys probably remember the Firefighter Ted book that I read and I said that I was going to read the next one after that. And I was having you guys guess what you thought he would be. So I'm going to show you the cover of the book and at home you tell me if you were right. That's right, you guys. This one is Artist Ted. One morning, Ted woke up, got out of bed, and looked around the room. It looked the same as it did every morning. That's not good, thought Ted. I need an artist to spiff things up around here. Ted looked everywhere, but he couldn't find one. And since Ted couldn't find an artist, I bet you know what's gonna happen. That's right, he became an artist. Every artist needs an imagination. I have one of those, said artist Ted, and he imagined a monkey juggling stinky socks. Now, if only I had a paintbrush. Artist Ted did not have a paintbrush, so he made one. And artist Ted didn't have any paint, so he made some of that too. You guys, he's pretty smart. He made a paintbrush using a wooden spoon and some string. And this is my favorite part. He made paint using condiments. And condiments are things that you can find in your refrigerator, like jelly, mustard, ketchup, and blueberry jam. He looked around at the white walls and he was inspired. Artist Ted painted and painted and painted. His mother was impressed. What is that? She asked. It's my masterpiece, he said. I call it green. It isn't green, said his mother. Do we have any pea soup? asked Artist Ted. Go to school, said his mother. He painted a monkey, a sock up here in yellow, some underwear. I believe this might be another monkey or maybe a bear. I'm not really sure. A banana peel, another red sock, this looks like maybe a butter knife. <laughs> At school, artist Ted walked down the long white halls and he was inspired. He painted and painted and painted. Guys, do you remember him from the last book? I bet you do. Oh, there he is. Principal Bingham. Remember his name? He was impressed. What is that? He asked. I call it Principal Bingham, said Artist Ted. I don't look like that, said Principal Bingham, and he turned bright red. A masterpiece, said Artist Ted. Go to class, said Principal Bingham. That's the name of my other masterpiece, said artist Ted. And up here it says, go to class with Principal Bingham. Principal Bingham was speechless. No need to thank me. It's all in a day's work for a true artist. <laughs> artist Ted went to Mrs. Johnson's class. There was a new student in class. His name was Pierre, and he was very quiet. Pierre wore a beautiful white shirt and sat right in front of Artist Ted. Artist Ted was inspired. Here's Pierre, you guys, listening attentively to his teacher. 
He painted and painted and painted. Pierre was not impressed. He frowned and did not speak. A mime, said artist Ted, and he waved at Pierre. Pierre frowned even harder and sank down in his seat. A mime, boys and girls, is someone who does not talk. They use their body to talk or to get what they want to say out. At lunch, artist Ted sat by Pierre. Pierre poked his potatoes with his fork and pushed them into a big pile. A sculptor, said artist Ted, and he helped Pierre make a masterpiece. Look, you guys, he made a monkey out of his potatoes, and Pierre does not look happy. Pierre was not impressed. He frowned again. He stomped his feet and jumped up and down. A dancer, said artist Ted, and he danced all around the room. He finished with a gigantic bow. When he stood up, Pierre was gone. An escape artist, said artist Ted. Wow. All this time, artist Ted is just fascinated by Pierre, but Pierre, I don't think he's so crazy about artist Ted. Artist Ted looked everywhere for Pierre. Mrs. Johnson and her class looked for Pierre too. Principal Bingham ran this way and that. Help, he yelled. Call the weatherman, call the gardener, call the library, just call somebody. But artist Ted was already there. He found Pierre high in the tree. Just then the weatherman arrived with the gardener and the librarians. They watched Pierre's teardrops splash onto the grass. At least it's not snowing, said the weatherman. Could we water the shrubs too, asked the gardener. Hope he doesn't get the books wet, said the librarian. Uh-oh, guys, Pierre is pretty upset. Artist Ted looked around the playground. He saw the white wall of the school building and he was inspired, but he needed help. He told Mrs. Johnson and she told her students. They painted and painted and painted. I wonder what they're going to paint, you guys. Oh, at last they finished a work of art, said artist Ted. Hey, everybody, it's a picture of Pierre. And at the very top, it says, welcome, friend. Just then, someone grabbed his paintbrush. It was Pierre. He looked at the wall and frowned. Pierre painted and painted and painted. And at last, he finished, too. Pierre stopped frowning. I wonder what he painted. Let's find out. Oh, wow, guys. A masterpiece, said artist Ted. Pierre smiled and waved. You are a true artiste, said artist Fred. Keep the brush. Guys, Pierre painted all of the friends around him. And at the top, it says, welcome, friend. But Pierre added all of his friends. That night, Ted put away his paints and went to bed knowing he had done a good job. There were so many wonderful arts to explore. He thought, how could anyone try them all? Ted did not have a clue. But I could get one, he thought, if I had a magnifying glass. <laughs> the end. So you guys, Pierre was a new student in the classroom and artist Ted, he was just excited and he wanted to paint. And I think he was not really remembering that Pierre was new to school and he wasn't making him feel as welcome as he could have. But then he got an idea and he painted Pierre and he said, welcome friend. And you know what, that was all it took for Pierre to be excited and happy and put a smile on his face. So just a little lesson that we can all be accepting of one another and being kind is the most important thing you can do. Okay, hey, miss you guys. Can't wait to see you soon. I will, I will be back. Bye.